the Roblox classic event. You either love it or hate it. Roblox selected a total of 15 different games. Some of these games are actually good, while the rest are... Yeah, let's just put it that way. Here are the top three worst games in the Roblox classic event. Do you want this super cool star creator pie? Make sure to like the video and subscribe, then follow me on Roblox. In third place, we have Adopt Me. First of all, you have to find 10 ticks around the entire map. Adopt Me made some of them complex. Once you have done that, you have this annoying classic teapot pet. You have to get it to max age. If you have never played Adopt Me before, it takes so long to max age a pet. When you play the game, your pets get these notifications. You will see pop-ups that your pet needs help for. When you complete them, your pet slowly ages up. The more you age your pet, it gets a lot more challenging. These quests don't often spawn. It might just take minutes for one quest. There are a few quests that require you to travel across the entire map. At most, this should take two hours. The worst part is that you can't AFK the game. Therefore, for the entire time, you have to manually play. Number 2, Restaurant Tycoon 2. I don't find this game that bad. It just takes so freaking long. First, you find 10 ticks around the entire map. This is probably the easiest part of the entire event. I have no issues with that. However, when it comes to the Roblox badges, this part does take a long time. You have to serve 150 classic customers. Basically, in this game, you have your very own restaurant, you serve customers, you make money, then you keep upgrading your restaurant. You can hire chefs, waiters, add more food on your menu, and of course, make your restaurant a lot better. To serve 150 classic customers, just note that every customer is not a classic customer. I would say one out of five customers are classic. After hiring a few staff members, you could probably AFK the entire event. Let's be honest, that is not really fun. Basically, I did spend 4,000 Robux. By the way, never spend Robux in these events. After spending that much Robux, it still took me five hours to beat the flipping event. I bought a fast car, a ton of money, auto collect earnings, times two faster cooking, and mega sized tables. Even paying that much Robux, it still took me that much time. Was the event fun? Absolutely not. I found this game super boring. Ultra is a dev that made this game. He is known for making Pizza Factory Tycoon, Clone Tycoon, and a lot more fun games. In the past, these games had fantastic events. When it came to his game, Restaurant Tycoon 2, this one was not really the best. Being completely honest, as a free-to-play player, this would take you over 10 hours likely. At the same time, if you did play this game in the past, you have a major advantage. How fun was the game? I give that a 2 out of 10. And of course, number one is no other than Blade Ball. First of all, Blade Ball is a horrible Roblox game. They don't care about their players. They focus more on the money. And that is called a cash grab game. I could make an entire video discussing on why Blade Ball is a horrible game, but that is not the point of today's video. Let's first talk about the ticks. Unlike the other games, Blade Ball has the worst ticks to find. Instead of traveling the entire map to find ticks, Blade Ball has one tick per each map. By the way, players can vote on maps. Some maps do have the classic icon on them, which means the map has ticks on it. Basically, find 10 ticks on 10 different maps while trying to find the ticks. Good luck not dying to the ball. On the other hand, some ticks are really high up in the map. The average player can't reach them. Therefore, you must have an ability. Of course, you can always spend Robux. Once again, the ticks spawn on 10 different maps. By the way, maps can repeat. Pretty much, you waste a bunch of time to get all these ticks. Blade Ball does not tell you what maps you're missing ticks on. They just show you all the badges. As the player yourself, you have to keep track of that. Overall, this ticks quest was horrible. Now, time for the final quest. Blade Ball made a mini battle pass. You need 120 points to get all five badges. 
And how do you get these points? By doing these stupid quests. For example, hitting the ball 150 times, winning three games, or playing 10 matches. After doing all three quests, you likely have 20 or more XP. Once again, you do need 120. One of your first quests is spin the daily wheel. Either spend 3,000 coins for one spin, or just spend some Robux on a spin. 3,000 coins is super difficult to get. That may take up to one hour of playing the game. That's very shady, Bladeball. Now here comes the worst part. Once you complete a quest, players will not get new ones until all three are completed. Bladeball definitely did this on purpose. As you progress the battle pass, the quests get more and more annoying. For example, winning 10 games. Let me explain why this quest sucks. In Blade Ball, there are these powerful abilities which half the players spend a ton of Robux on. As a free-to-play player or a new player, you likely don't have these abilities, making it a lot harder to win the game. Good luck trying to beat that quest. Now here comes the worst quest. There's a flipping quest called Find All The Ticks. Instead of completing my quest, I spent a whole hour trying to finish this one quest to get even more quests. The entire time when playing Blade Ball, just by dying, it takes so long for the next round to start. In the very small lobby, I counted a total of 14 different loot boxes. Why does a Roblox game have 14 flipping loot boxes? This was definitely targeted. Every 5 rounds, Blade Ball does have a boss fight. Honestly, I guess it's alright. The boss fight is only useful for one quest. On Blade Ball, I do have some powerful abilities. Because of that, I finished all the quests in 4 hours. For the average player, I don't think you can beat the event. You really need those powerful pay to win abilities. So that's the horrible Blade Ball event. Now here comes the worst part. Blade Ball banned every single method of cheating. First up in private servers, the event is banned. Blade Ball does have a 1v1 game mode. The quest would be so easy if the rounds were that short. And of course, they banned it in those game modes. Blade Ball does not care about their players. They just wanna make as much money as possible. When players have Roblox Premium, the more time they spend in a Roblox game, the devs make money. If there is one game you can avoid, please do not play Blade Ball. Those are three of the worst Roblox classic experiences. Comment down below what the worst one is. As always, like the video and subscribe if you want Star Creator Pie. I will see you guys next time. Peace.